air fry frozen broccoli this is how to cook broccoli from frozen using the instant pot and the air fryer if you want oven roasted broccoli but in the air fryer this is how it's done Hello, my name is Samantha and I'm from the blog RecipeThis.com and also the voice behind the Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, myself and my husband who will be behind the camera will be showing you the easiest of the easy, healthy air fry and instant pot recipes. The idea for beginners to instant pot and air fryers but want something healthy that is just ridiculously easy to do and just perfect for when you're starting out with your new kitchen gadgets. And of course, this is part of our project of healthy instant pot and air fryer recipes. And don't forget to comment below with which kitchen gadgets you have and also to subscribe to our channel and join our mailing list over at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as we do have some amazing learn your air fryer and learn your instant pot courses to help you get you started on your kitchen gadgets journey. So this is how to do air fry frozen broccoli when you've already blanched it. So what I've done is I've done a zero minute cook time in the instant pot and then it's easy just to crisp up in the air fryer. So grab your air fryer basket and load it up with broccoli. Then you want to season it uh, with salt, mixed herbs or Italian seasoning depending on where you're at. Excuse my loud cat, she's got issues with cold weather, she doesn't do January. And then spray it with lots of extra virgin olive oil. And then once it's had a good spray, you can place it in the air fryer. And let's start it um, with seven minutes at 180 celsius and then we can see how it's coming along because it's already been cooked so you're just reheating it and making it crispy so it's done its initial seven minutes here i just want to see how it's coming along before i increase the temperature up to 200 celsius so this is our broccoli so far it's starting to get a crisp on it now but it's not crispy enough so i'm just going to add a little bit more spray to it and then temperature up to 200 celsius and another seven minutes cook time and we've beeped oh and there you have it you can just smell it you can see the crisp on it that is absolutely perfect air fryer frozen broccoli and like I said by using the instant pot first you can speed up this process and you have a lovely lovely crisp on the broccoli let's have a look at that piece there about that and there it is it's just as simple as that what I tend to do is well when I remember and when I'm feeling organized is I will steam some broccoli the night before in the instant pot place it in the fridge and then I know I don't have to wait for the instant pot to go to pressure. I can just throw it in the air fryer, the cold cooked broccoli and spray it and follow the recipe I've just shown you now. So please comment below with which bread maker and air fryer you have at home in your kitchen. Uh, here in the Milners, uh, we have just a cheap bread maker that we got from Amazon Germany that we had shipped to us. And we also use the Philips Air Fryer XL, uh, which we've had for a few years now. And if you are into air fryers and bread makers, do head over to recipethis.com as we have a lot of recipes for you to choose from there. And all the recipes that we're mentioning in these videos, you can find over there too. Thanks for watching. We have a huge collection of kitchen gadget recipes, including air fryer, instant pots, slow cooker, soup maker, and many others. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Best of all, join our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. There we have plenty of principles, cooking time cheat sheets, free ebooks and mini courses to help you along your way in your kitchen gadgets journey.